I feel like my job is trying to not only teach curriculum-based things, but also to be a life coach for them and to unlock their potential. Jared Reed is a first-year teacher. I want to make sure these kids learn. I want to be the best I can be at all times. Chris Pettit is in his second year. I was kind of overwhelmed first coming in. No, sit down, please. Often, new teachers are alone and get limited professional guidance. The average person does not know what it's like to be in this fire. You kind of feel like you're out in the middle of an ocean by yourself, drowning. Ladies and gentlemen, stay focused. But I took it personally, like maybe it's me, maybe I'm just not cut out to be a, a teacher. Too many new teachers quit. Almost 50% leave the classroom within the first five years. When you have new teachers come in, you put a lot of training into them, so you want them to stay around. High turnover costs the nation $7.4 billion a year. Turnover of teachers is really a crisis situation. Kids have a relationship with the teacher, and when they lose the person they were connected with, it hurts them. I'm not just losing the teacher, I'm losing those kids. We don't want to have teachers out on an island and they don't have any direction. We want to keep our teachers. Mentors like Trinika are the solution. In Hillsborough County, every first and second year teacher gets paired with a mentor. How's it going? Going great. This is my 13th year in education. I have 14 first and second year teachers. I went to college on a baseball scholarship. When we had batting practice, our coach was a stickler. He was trying to train me out of my bad habits. Ms. Thornton is my coach here. Ms. Thornton is my mentor. Only the best teachers are chosen to become mentors. Once they're selected, they go into a training program that really helps them to become good mentors. I'm sitting in my class trying to teach, and it'll be just like an outburst. But you're going to get a negative number. Does she normally wear sunglasses in class? If it's not disruptive, then I'll kind of let it ride. OK. She is running the show. You're going to get negative 25. Oh, you're going to get 125. So what she told me to do is to get them more involved in my lesson. Oh, my goodness. Good job. OK, now. I come in and do classroom observations, questions that the students are asking, that the teacher is asking, the behaviors, how they're interacting with each other. She's like really good. Like She sits in the corner with the laptop. She gets every word, I don't know how. I just gather evidence. We look at the evidence and we talk about what could have improved the lesson or what went well in that lesson. You're like CSI for teaching. Yes, I am. <laughs> Crime scene investigator. That's true, I like that. <laughs> the mentors provide the passion. I like teaching, it's 24 hours. And their cell phone numbers. See, I tell them, call me anytime. Email, yes. We text a lot. You know, how about this? What do you think? Bouncing things off Trinika left and right. She's been my backbone. I can't imagine doing this on my own without the kind of support. I tell people that I don't feel like a second year teacher anymore. Since the mentor program started, new teacher retention has gone from 72 to 94 percent. The kids want to be here and teachers want to work here. All right, good job, ladies. This is just one story of a school's success. Imagine if more first and second year teachers like Jared and Chris had mentors like Trinika. If we gave educators the support to teach the way forward and change America's classrooms. We want our students to be lifelong learners, right? So as teachers, that's what we need to be. <laughs> exactly.